Okay. Hello. Happy National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. We are here. We're so very excited to be able to talk to my friend, my advisory board member, my, uh, oh my goodness, God is just so very, very amazing. And he's a wonderful part of my life and my progression, but you'll hear about that later, right? Um, I want to take a moment to introduce you to Mr. Scott Starantino. Tell us just a little bit about yourself, Scott. Hey, Aisha. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a software developer. Uh, I own a company called uh, WRA Risk, and our focus is developing software uh, that helps uh, risk management departments and insurance uh, departments so they can actually look at their data, uh, create trends, uh, run reports, and store information that helps them with their risk management programs. Awesome. Awesome. So when we got started, we just kind of talked about just really easy, right? Um, we will be at the ninth annual cybersecurity um, awareness conference and expo on October the 28th. And you're going to be on a panel called cybersecurity impacts by industry. So First, um, when we talk about, you know, National Cybersecurity Awareness Month, why do you feel that this is such an important initiative? Absolutely. So a couple of things. First of all, cybersecurity and, and the issues from cybersecurity are not going anywhere. In fact, it's getting worse, right? right? That's right. Um, you know, it's getting more sophisticated, uh, you know, hacking, things of that nature. We need to understand it. Uh, our, our best defense is actually understanding what what it's all about and what's really going on, right? Mm -hmm. I think the days of I have some kind of a system out in the cloud, so it's okay, are, are over, right? We need to understand the issues that are coming. Now, me personally, uh, like I said, my company is, is risk management. I mean, that's, right. that's a huge risk, dealing with cybersecurity. Um, then the other side of this, I'm a software developer. So everything I develop, cybersecurity comes into play. So I actually kind of see it from a couple of different perspectives. Awesome. So risk management, software development. First of all, you are doing some amazing things in the industry. I'm so very proud of you and excited that we were able to get a bit of your time, right? So, um, but when it comes down to risk, plus software development. Um, give us just a little bit about something we can expect to hear from you on the panel. Sure. So, you know, one of the things I'm going to talk about is basically the kind of data I store, right? I mean, we're talking risk management. We're talking on-the-job injuries. That means we're talking medical records. We're talking social security numbers. I mean, all the stuff you hear that you want to protect, right? So, you know, there's that side of it. And then, then there's also the side of it. I'm a small business owner, very small company, right? And I'm competing against larger companies. Right. So it's almost a marketing uh, thing for me to be able to show clients that we have systems in place. Uh, I have to prove that, yes, we have, you know, our systems and we can compete with the larger uh, companies. Um, so cybersecurity actually becomes a way for me to help build my business uh, by convincing people that we have what we need to protect their information. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. So if there's one tip you can give the, the viewers today, what tip might that be? Well, wow, one tip. Um, just from a general perspective, I'm going to say don't put your head in the sand. Uh, that's the thing that we're, we're always so nervous about this stuff that you don't want to think about it, right? You'd rather just kind of forget it, ignore it, pray, you know, praying's not, not a method when it comes to cybersecurity, <laughs> right? Or risk True. in general. Uh, you, you need to at least understand where the problems are. There are experts out there and, you know, so I'm going to get two tips. I'm going to cheat. Uh, the other one okay. is find the experts that can help you out, right? Because okay. you're not necessarily going to be the expert at everything. That's but right. there are people that actually understand it. So if you understand where your problems are and you choose not to ignore them, there's way to preemptively deal with this stuff. It's a lot easier to deal with it now than once you have a problem. Well, I'm glad you cheated. That was amazing. <laughs> 
as always, it's a pleasure talking with you, Scott. I'm always blown away every time you and I meet, we get together. Um, but I look forward to seeing you on Friday, October the 28th at the Dallas College Capel Center um, at our ninth annual Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Is there anything else you want to say before we go, Scott? No, I just, I'm very much looking forward to it. Looking forward to talking in some more detail. I know you got some other great panelists. I'm looking forward to kind of talking back and forth with them. And I just can't wait. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. For the rest of you guys, I look forward to seeing you there. All righty. Bye-bye.